The Stephen Siller Tunnels and Towers Foundation has volunteered to build Brendan the home. Uh, they've also committed to building the homes for quad and triple amputees uh, across the United States. Built these houses so that these guys could be uh, returned home and, and live a comfortable life. Outdoor ramps are all uh, snow controlled, meaning that when it snows, there's automatic sensors that turn on a heater so it melts the snow immediately. We also have an easy pass type device which picks up Brendan as he's passing it and opens the door automatically. And then once you enter into the house, we have motion sensors mounted on the ceiling, which pick up movement and turn the lights on from room to room. All the doors on are all pocket doors, so they can always slid into the frame, so it's not uh, restricting the wheelchair from going from room to room. We have the elevator here, which allows him to get to the second floor of the home. Then as you enter into the kitchen, we have uh, the appliances, the, uh, the stove and the sink that raises up and down to his level. Uh, the countertop is designed that he could pull up with his chair and eat comfortably at the countertop here. We have the refrigerator on the other side at his level so that he can wheel up and uh, be able to get something to drink. Uh, everything in the house is fully controlled through the iPad on and off site. What that means is that if Brendan should have a problem with the house, he can call me and I can actually control the house from my house. Everything including the TV, the lighting, the air conditioning and heating, uh, the countertops, everything is controlled via the iPad. Cabinet doors are all pocket doors so that uh, once he opens up a cabinet, if he needs to get something out, he can actually take the door, shove it into the pocket, allowing him to move back and forth with the wheelchair. The internal uh, of the cabinets come down via the iPad down to his level, so there's something in the upper cabinets that he needs, he can push a button and then the whole internal of the cabinet comes down to countertop level. And the fireplace will also be working off the iPad as well that he could, could turn uh, the fireplace on and off with the iPad. Brendan does have a stylus that he uses with the iPad, which allows him to control the whole house. Uh, he can turn the TV on as well, um, open up the doors, close the doors, um, adjust the music from room to room. Every room has speakers uh, built into the ceiling or into the wall that are camouflaged. The back door is controlled via, via the uh, push to exit button or again could be controlled through the iPad or through the phone system to open up the door. Uh, the house is fully alarmed, it's fully cameraed uh, with surveillance all around. The washing machine and dryer are both front, front loading so that he could uh, do his own laundry. Um, the master bath is designed in a way that he could enter into the bathroom, wheel into the shower. Uh, there's multiple heads in the shower allowing him to shower different ways. If you'd like to help us out on our next Tunnels to Towers project, uh, please contact the Tunnels to Towers Foundation at www.tunnel2towers.org or call us at 718-987-1931.